Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install 32 bit software on 64 bit operating systems and also won't apply to every piece of software. But it's definitely worth a shot and it seems like it does have success for a good number of people. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Windows Features. Best match should come back or turn Windows features on or off. Just left click on that one time. And now once you're in this and once it's finished loading, you want to go to where it says Internet Information Services and you want to check mark inside the box here. It might just be a perfectly filled in square. Just left click on OK. And give it a moment here to apply the changes. should say Windows completed the requested changes. Left click on close. Once you're done doing that, now you want to go ahead and left click on the start menu to open it up. Type in Internet Information Service. So it should come back with Internet Information Services. Left click on that one time here. drag this over here. If you try opening this up or try searching it without turning the feature on it will not come up in your start menu. That's what we had to make the feature visible to us. So once we have this open now you want to go ahead and left click to expand the connection on the left side here. So just left click on the little arrow next to it. Now you want to click on the application pool selection. Right click whenever the default app pool is right here and then go down and left click on advanced settings so pretty straightforward so far and you want to go ahead and click on enable the 32-bit option so since I'm on 32-bit computer and that's the only kind of virtual environment that I've been able to have access to it's kind of hard to exactly show you beyond this point but again it would just say enable 32-bit applications in here underneath general if you would just left click on that and then on the right side you see we have this drop down here there would be an option for true or false you want to set that to true so very straightforward, you just would select again, enable 32-bit applications on the left here, and then on the right side there'd be a drop-down menu, just click, click inside the arrow, select true, and that's pretty much it. You then we'll just left click on OK. Restart your computer. Hopefully this has resolved your problem and you're able to run the software you're looking to run. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out and I also look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.